Profiles and Biographies of Famous Indonesian Heroines Since Indonesia's independence, in 1945, hundreds of figures have been awarded as Indonesian national heroes thanks to their services to Indonesia. Among the hundreds of figures, there are 17 women who were given the title of national women heroes who contributed to Indonesia. Below we summarize the biographies of Indonesian female heroes briefly and completely. 1. R.A. Kartini or Redan Ajan Kartini is known as the hero of Indonesian women's emancipation. This pioneer of the rise of Indonesian women is one of the most famous female figures. This woman, who was born on 21st April 1879, was born into native nobility. He received education up to ELS, European Lager School, which is a school for Dutch and native nobles which is equivalent to elementary school. After that, he then lived in the house in accordance with the culture of Javani society at that time. While at home, Kartini diligently carried out correspondence or letters with her friends in Europe. He also reads a lot of magazines published in Europe. Her activities then opened up her thoughts regarding the position of indigenous women, especially women's emancipation in social life. R. A. Kartini considered that true woman's independence was the emancipation of women. The existence of legal equality and freedom is a form of the women's emancipation movement according to Kartini. Not long afterward, Kartini was married to K.R.M. Adipati Aryo Singhe Dojo Adiningrath who at that time served as regent of Remban. Her husband freed her to establish a women's school for natives which was located next to her husband's office. However, after giving birth to her child, Susalit Jojo Adiningrath, R.A. Kartini died a few days later on 17 September 1904 and was buried in Rembang, central Java. After R.A. Kartini died, her letters containing R.A. Kartini's thoughts were collected and compiled into a book. The book later became known as the book After Darkness Comes Light. Kartini's thoughts regarding women's emancipation as expressed in the book changed the Europeans' view of native Indonesian women. W. R. Sopratman even created a song entitled Haibiu Kita Kartini as a form of respect and memory of R. A. Kartini. For R. A. Kartini's services, the Indonesian government awarded this female hero with the title Hero of Indonesian Independence. This is stated in the decree of the President of the Republic of Indonesia No. 108 of 1964 dated 2 May 1964. Kartini's birthday is even celebrated as Kartini Day every 21st April. The name is also widely used as a street name and place name in several regions in Indonesia. That is the information I can convey about R.A. Kartini. Hopefully it is useful for all of us. Thank you. See you tomorrow.